and um, looks like you should get 50% because I don't have a whole lot of uh, air targeting uh, buildings on the outside. <sighs> the cringe. But hey, what's up guys, Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette, and uh, another fun video I have for 10,000 subscribers to celebrate. So, I know some of you guys want to see just the war content, but every once in a while I like to just kind of do a fun video, and it's, it's nice to reflect on what the channel used to be, um, so I'll be sure to keep this mixed in with some actual war content to keep you guys happy. But for those of you who want to watch this video, uh, I did talk about doing it in my 10,000 subscriber celebration. So here it is, reacting to my first ever video. And it was, I mean, I watched a, a few clips of it. I'm just going to kind of go through it as I make the video. But from what I've seen, it's pretty pretty cringy, at least for me. And that's coming from someone who I've gotten used to the sound of my own voice just from YouTube. But still, when I, when I hear what my voice used to be, that kind of just, that's, pushes me over the edge it just just I just hate hearing it so a little bit of a struggle for me today but I'm gonna do my best to uh, to watch with you guys my very first video I'll put the link to it in the description if you want to watch it uninterrupted but uh, yeah let's go ahead and get into it guys this was back when my YouTube channel was called Clash of Clans manual uh, that was before I joined one hive uh, that was what it was called because I've had this YouTube channel for a lot longer than I've been in One Hive. I just changed the name once I once I started jo once I joined One Hive. So, anyway, that all being said, let's go ahead and watch this and uh, and uh, yeah, <laughs> okay, let's go. Hey, what is going on, guys? Bisectatron here from Clash of Clans Manual, and today is my very first video and also the kickoff of my Clan War series. I don't even know where to start. The the the, rec the recording software, if you even call that recording software, uh, the voice, it's oh man. But actually, the the recording software, I basically took my iPad and put it on a few video game cases, and then just put my iPhone below it, and that's how I recorded. But sometimes, like during replays, I had to like scroll over to show the attack. I would have to. Uh, go out of the attack and do a whole new, like, move the, the screen, go back into the replay, uh, show the next part, uh, hit record, and that was back when you couldn't pause it, so I it would take forever to make videos. But anyway, yeah, the voice is, I know, a lot different. I was, three years ago, I was, like, 14, uh, so, yeah, but anyway, let's keep, keep watching. I'm going to be recapping a clan war. My clan was just in. It was a pretty... Uh, exciting war. It's going to be a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and get into it. And I hope you guys enjoy. You got to love the enthusiasm though. Like I know I sound kind of monotone even now, but back then, like it was a pretty exciting war. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I don't know why anyone watched my videos. And I guess, it, I, don't, I don't know, this got like 500 views. So I guess some people liked it or thought it was sad enough to watch one or the other. Alright, so looking at my first attack, I'm attacking Merrick, 1985. He has a pretty solid base, but his Infernos are kind of out to the side, which is going to be make it a lot easier to attack uh, if I just attack from the other side. So I used a Giant to lure out his Clan Castle troops, and I threw an Archer down at the top to bring them to the top so I can take them out. So yeah, this is actually kind of nostalgic to look back, you know, at these old attacks, and you gotta love this guy's Inferno Tower placement, putting them both, like, way off to the side, so a Town Hall 9 like me could two-star it, but anyway, you saw the transition, that actually, that took a solid, you know, a few minutes to do, because I had to go back into to the attack and adjust the, where, what part of the attack was being shown to show that, the top part of the base where I'm luring out the CC. Alright, so it looks like his two witches are kind of staying pretty close together. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop my lightning spell on them. That will be my best bet. And hopefully it should take care of both of them. So, pretty unsuccessful lightning spell. One of those witches is still alive. That awkward silence, though, where I'm just like, that's there's a ton of those moments in this video where it's just like 5, 10 seconds of just silence. But anyway, yeah, luring out the CC troops, a lightning spell, I think took out a witch and a half, or not even, I don't know. But yeah, this was this was back when people lured, then used lightning spells. It was a different game back then, it sure was. 
Alright, so I'm going to drop a Rage spell, and I have a King, a couple Wizards, and a Witch in that middle section of the base by the Town Hall. So I'm going to activate my King's ability, and it should be pretty easy to shoot down that Town Hall. I brought three minions and a couple archers. Hopefully they should be enough. I just need maybe five more buildings to go down for that 50%. Alright, so up to 45% waiting on that archer to take out that um, Dark Elixir pump. And then that minion's also working on that uh, builder's hut and now going over to the other Dark Elixir pump. How long is this going to go on for? Like, I know people sometimes in the comments are like, wasted 10 minutes of my life or something on a video. But this, like, actually, this time wasting right here. Like, so, could it, I could have just fast forwarded, but I guess that would take an extra clip for me to hit the times four. Because I never wanted my finger to show on the, on the screen. And up to 49%. Just need one more building. And that'll get us, get us our 50 I'll just let the clock run down. There's only a couple seconds left in the raid. And pretty successful. This guy was number 19. I'm number 41. So I'm going up 22 ranks to get up, go after him. Although his infernos were off to the side, which made it a lot easier. But I'm still pretty happy with myself. It was a good raid. Yeah, actually wasn't bad. Uh, take notes for those of you Town Hall 9s Town hall out there. This is how you get the two-star done. And almost immediately after I attacked, I actually got attacked by someone from the enemy's clan. So I wasn't too disappointed with this. I actually got torn up a lot worse the last couple uh, defenses I've had in clan wars. But still, I mean, it's a loss. It's one star. I'll get over it. And I'll probably have more defenses if this guy only gets one star on me, which it looks like he will. It's one star, I'll get over it. <laughs> you gotta love how, like, you know, that one star, that's gonna be the difference in the war. Um, I don't know, maybe things were different back then, but still, even, like, why does that one star even matter? Uh, but I'm sure I did get over it, and uh, my base probably got three-starred, like, the next attack. <laughs> when this la last dragon goes down, that will uh, do it for this raid. I was a little bit disappointed, but, you know, one star's happened, not too bad. So I'm going to go ahead and head back to base for a second. Uh, my defense and my attack you just saw were pretty right off the bat. And then I went ahead and waited a couple hours. And later that night, I did my second attack. But by then, a lot of the bases um, were taken. I was pretty ambitious, so I went for number 12. And, uh, well, you'll see what happens. It was a pretty interesting raid. So I'll go ahead and show that one next. That foreshadowing, though. Uh, but no, in all seriousness, that was the style I used to do. I think Chief Pat did that, so I was kind of emulating that, where you kind of take them through a story with the, the recap. You don't tell them what who ended up winning to the end. It's kind of just like going through. And I guess I got lazy, and uh, now I just kind of show attacks. But um, either way, I think that uh, we can appreciate at least some of the 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 style back then. I think I think it's cool to look at this video and see how I used to do it. Okay, so here's my second attack. I'm attacking Polish Power PL. Okay, that would actually be a difficult base for me to three star right now with my Town Hall 10 account that has miners and bowlers and all the new stuff that's happened in the last like two years. But uh, you know maybe I could three star it. But either way, uh, with my little Town Hall 9 account back then with level 1 golems or whatever. I'm surprised I went for this, and it's only for 2 stars, but still, I mean, it seems like this is a super tough base, so I guess I was right to say that I was ambitious. And I'm going to drop a couple barbarians, and that'll go ahead and lure out his clan castle troops. Looks like he has 2 witches and a couple wizards and archers, same as the first guy. And once again, my lightning spell was pretty unsuccessful. Okay, I think it's clear by that uh, that sad lightning spell that we take the poison for granted way too much. Back then, you had to lure out the CC troops, and the lightning spell didn't even kill anything. I mean, look at that. And it costs, I mean, well, technically one-fourth of your spell space. Now, if you wanted, you could bring, a, like, nine poison spells, because they only take up half of a, re of a regular spell, so... Uh, don't take that poison spell for granted. Some of you guys might remember this. We had to bring the lightning spell back in the day, and it did not work that well. So, same as last trade, I'm going to drop my golems now, follow it up with some wizards behind them, and then I'll drop my wall breakers to help them break into the, that first layer of the base. 
so things are going pretty good right now. Um, although my witches, my wizards and witches got out in front of my golem. So stop. Play that. Play that. That clip again. Although my witches, my wizards and witches got out in front of my golems. How old do I sound in that clip? I'm 14. I'm like going into high school. My wizards and witches. I mean, it's oh, ah, that's probably the worst, worst line. Worst line of this video for me, watching it back again. Although my witches, my wizards and witches got out in front of. Although my witches, my wizards and witches got out in front of. My, although my witches, my wizards and witches got out in front of my. So, I was there was no way I could get fifty percent on this. So my last uh, dying, you know, my last dying struggle was sending in a couple of these level five minions to, you know, <laughs> try to take out that town hall, but I don't even think they got one one of their, like, attacks on. So that's why people watched the these types of videos back then. It was for the, those comedic moments where, where I'm sending in minions, but they have no chance of getting the town hall because it's so much higher in hit points, and they don't do that much damage. That was, uh, that's why people watched the, uh, the videos back then, I guess, answer to my question. So this is my usual request after a disappointing clan war loss. And actually I was lucky my clan actually gave me archers instead of what I requested for. Well guys, I can no longer make YouTube videos because I was drinking something while I watched that last um that that CC request I had and it just flew out all over my computer, my microphone, uh everything is ruined. I I, I I can't make videos anymore. The, the joke just, there was no stopping it. Everything just flew out of my mouth. Anyway though guys, at this point I just kind of show a bunch of like screenshots of stuff and start to wrap up the video. So let's take a look at the very ending of it. So that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked it, uh, feel free to drop a like and subscribe. Comment any questions. But until my next video, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. By Toronto. Well, okay, I guess that outro was pretty cool. I every one of my videos has had that. I yeah, every one of my videos pretty much, uh, unless there's some kind of exception. But yeah, that that was the birth of the outro, and uh, you gotta love gotta love that video. It was honestly like in all seriousness, guys. Um, it was really cheesy, and I made a lot of fun of it. But it's still just cool to look back and kind of see where the channel started. I mean. It's, I already talked about this before, but it's crazy because, um, you know, at a time like this, at 10,000 subscribers, I look back and I just think about all everything that was so much different. I recorded that in my bathroom uh, with my iPad. And by the way, the sound quality was actually pretty good. I did tune it up a little bit just for this video, but even before what it actually sounds like, and you can check out that video if you want, links in the description, the sound quality was pretty good because I used my iPad, which has a pretty good internal microphone. So that was pretty good, but beyond that, I mean, I'm in my bathroom. I took like took like 30 minutes to record that because I was so bad at talking in a coherent sentence uh, when it wasn't natural when I was trying to record the video. Uh, I was so bad at doing that, so it took forever to make it. And like I said, I I had my iPhone screen, and at first I tried to use my phone to record my iPad, and then I switched and used my iPad to record my phone, which you saw in this video, and like I said, I had a bunch of video games, I stacked them up, the, uh, the case of it that is, stacked up those video game cases, put the iPad on top, and every time I had to... You, well, every time you would use your finger to uh, pan over to a different part of the base, I had to stop the recording, go out of the attack, go back into the attack to when the where I left off, make sure I was in the new, uh, make sure I had panned over to the new spot I was looking at, and I had to do that for pretty much uh, four or five times an attack based on where the troops were, where the action was, so... That was how it was like back then. Hope you guys liked this video. Let me know what you think below. And don't worry, this won't be a regular thing. Uh, I don't plan on doing it much uh, really besides this video. So anyway, like I said, let me know what you think below. And I think we still have uh, a few more subscriber celebration videos coming out soon. So stay tuned, guys. Hope you're really looking forward to that. Have some awesome stuff, uh, including the face cam. So be on the lookout, and I'll see you guys in some of my next videos. Bye, Sectatron out.